Hello again. In this chapter of our tutorial series, we will review the spectral Doppler features of the M9 min drive system. As you know, spectral Doppler is used to study the blow flow velocity and direction, utilizing a real-time spectrum display. The horizontal axis represents time, while the vertical axis represents the Doppler frequency shift. The pulse wave mode provides a function for examining flow at one specific site for its velocity, direction and features. The continuous wave mode proves to be much more sensitive to high velocity flow display. Thus, a combination of all modes will contribute to a much more accurate analysis. To start to work with spectral Doppler modes, we have first to select a high quality image during the beam mode or color Doppler scanning and adjust to position the area of interest in the center of the image. Next, we have to press the pulse or continuous wave Doppler button of the panel to adjust the sampling line. Pressing again, we have the spectral image of the flow. We can adjust the sampling line simply by moving the tracking ball. And after having the optimized images, we can perform other operations like measurements or calculations. In spectral mode scanning, the image parameter area in the top right corner of the screen displays the real-time parameter values. The gain allows to adjust the variety of the received signals. We can adjust also the audio of the spectrum map. The scale control is used to adjust the speed range of the flow. There is also a speed function to set the scanning speed of the pulse wave mode imaging. The wall filter function is used to adjust the filter frequency. We can adjust also the gray map and even to change to different maps to get a better signal evaluation.